Hello, Keto Bandito here. I've been doing some canning. I canned up some bourbon chicken this morning. So there's a lot of bone broth in there to make it like a soup. Uh, it's still really hot. I don't like to disturb them overnight. Um, these I just took out. Chicken egg roll. Um, totally keto. So there's kimchi and bone broth in here. Um... I'm going to mute my background music. Sorry. I know people like my music that I listen to. Uh, mute. Oh, pause. Sorry. I'm at my mom's house, so this is her cute little pumpkin set. Anyway, I just took these ones out, and these are my new jars. Really disappointed. I tempered all of them. One of them broke. This happens. So, bummer. Uh, when I went to lift it out... The bottom split out of it, so I'll have to clean all this up. There's one whole jar of uh, soup. You can see all the good fats floating in there. Then I also made a fajita soup. This I will be canning up next, and I will be making sure to bring these new jars up to an extremely high temp to temper them because um, I should walk you over here. Sorry. Uh, there are these. Ball pint and half jars um i've had them for a while but it's the first time i've ever used them for canning and the whole bottom fell out of that one my others there's the egg roll in a bowl that what's left over so that'll be a meal it's cooled off now so i can seal that up um anyway there's keto dog rayleigh helping me out in the kitchen but anyway um these are the new jars, but the old jars, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. This is a bicentennial. I don't think you can see it. It's a 1970s jar, super, super old. It's Mason. Um, what was one of my other ones? Those are cloudy. See that? Because I forgot to put vinegar in my, my boiling water. Oh, that one's hot. So let's see. Some of these other ones, they're more Kerr, K-E-R-R -R jars instead of um, mason jars because they're super old. I've been canning for a really long time. I actually uh, did up another video and I, after I posted it, I deleted it because I realized I'd messed up and I wasn't videotaping in landscape. And I know my listeners or viewers have pointed out to me that's a key way of doing it in... Um, landscape like this so that you can actually see the whole picture better but just wanted to show you some canning i'm going to also walk you back over here where really dog is again to show you my canning it's a fagor up here f-a-g-o-r it does 10 quart it's an 1810 stainless steel pressure cooker these are all the um cooking gadgets you get inside your canning. My canning book is with my other cookbooks and stuff. I use all these. This helps pull your cans out. This keeps it from the bottom of the dish. This is a little magnetic thing. So when you're heating your lids, uh, it gets the rubber seal. This long skinny plastic thing is for getting the bubbles out of the bottom. This is for tightening your lid. I don't really use that piece, but this is how I pull them back out of the um, canner when it's all done, my ladle and everything. So, as you can see, my box is super, super old. I actually keep it in another box and then slide it in here. So, my other box is over here with all these. And so, I've been cooking up a ton of chicken um, and all my new lids. I like to start off with new lids each and every time I do canning. Um, so, you have to heat. Whoops, there they go on the floor. I heat this so the rubber seal gets softened and ready for the canning so then under pressure that'll seal onto the glass and then the popping noise you hear is those um coming up to temp i was hoping another one might pop while i'm there it goes um on here but so then you can take the bands off and store it with just the um the lids on and when you open them you'll hear the pop of the seal so I've done several canning things since going keto. I've done um, chili verde sauce. When I had a garden, I did tomatoes. 
and I did salsa and uh, my own tomato paste and stuff. If anyone wants to know how I'm cooking any of this stuff and then canning, please comment below and then I'll try to do another video with um, more of that information. But I'll be canning quite a bit in the next few days because my mom's gone. So I'm using her house as my canning depot. And I just got 20 pounds of chicken. It's boneless, skinless, 20 pound box of chicken that I got for $1.30 a pound, making it $26 a case. And, uh, that's why I'm making all these chicken soups and everything to get us through the winter. So instead of using up my freezer space, I decided to cook it up, can it. My mom can then open a can of these and she can have a, a keto meal in microwavable seconds or over the stove top or whatever. And us coming on winter, I don't like all my food in the freezer just in case we lose electricity and can't keep it um, cold. So this is a better option. You can open this. Heat it up on a camp stove or your barbecue and get you through the winter. So anyway, here you go. Keto Bandito. I'll be posting these over on my um, Instagram account as well. And like I said, comment below on any questions or whatever that you might have or anything I can help you with. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a keto expert. I'm not a doctor. Uh, all those good things. I'm just somebody who's been doing keto for I'm on my fifth year now. And uh, this is the way I keto. Thanks.